Hey everyone, Josh here with a look at another Star Wars toy. And today we're looking at a toy from the Power of the Force collection. This is a toy line they called Gunner Station. And this is Darth Vader in TIE Fighter. And I'm going to go ahead and spin this thing around for you so you guys can get a look at it. And what this is, is basically it's just the cockpit of... Darth Vader's TIE Fighter with a handle on it so you can do play dog fights and things like that and it's I guess it's for using more in seeing the ship from Darth Vader's perspective maybe is the best way to explain it um, but <clears throat> I'll show you what this thing does it's pretty interesting the um Darth Vader figure is removable. He does come out. It's actually one of the cooler Darth Vader figures that came out with this toy line. Um, so what you have here is it's the TIE Fighter cockpit on a handle. And you can see there's a little knob on the back. And what that is is you can twist the knob and he gives the appearance of flight controls. And if you look, you also see there's a little landing gear right here on the bottom, and that is actually retractable. You just push it in with your finger, and to take it back out, you just kind of grab it with your fingernail and pull it back out. There's no lever or trigger for it or anything. And the other thing you have here is you'll notice on the front there's two little missiles and those do fire and the way you fire them is back behind the handle right behind Darth Vader's head you'll see there's these two little triggers and that is how you launch the missiles you just pull them back and the missiles will fire and so here's what it looks like I'll go ahead and shoot them boom boom and to reinsert them it's very easy you just slide them back in until you hear click And once again, I'll do that real quick. One, two, and I believe that's why it got the title of Gunner Station. And one other thing this thing does is, for some reason, the window for the cockpit actually is removable. And <clears throat> the handle is actually removable. All you kind of do is you just pull straight back and it pops out and you can see how the little knob works it spins it you see we got the imperial logo there emblem and if you look really close it's kind of funny the bottom of the handle looks like the wing of Darth Vader's TIE Fighter And so if you look at the actual cockpit here, you'll see Darth Vader's sitting in it. And he is removable. What you got to do is you got to lift his arms up and take him off the flight controls. And then they swing forward. And you can see the flight controls move. And so you got to swing him all the way forward and he just pulls out. And you can see he has a cloth cape. And he has bendable knees because he has to fit in the cockpit. So I thought that was pretty interesting. This is a good Vader figure. So if you're looking for a quality figure to purchase and you want a little more than just a figure, this is definitely a good set to pick up. I have seen it for sale on Amazon. But you can see the cape is actually cloth, which is pretty cool and it is permanently attached there's no way to take it off so you have to be aware of that when you're putting him back in the cockpit you gotta kinda fold it up behind him and then insert him or else it's all flopping all over the place but you'll see he bends at the waist he does have a little bit of head movement and he has just shoulder joints on his arms and like I said his knees do bend at the hips and at the knees which is not common for these figures, so if that's what you're looking for, this is a good figure for that. And so to get him back in there, it's real easy. Like I said, the first thing you want to do is kind of, you 
got to kind of fold his cape up and put it behind him. And you bend his knees and he'll just slide right in there. And then you have to swing the flight controls forward and he'll put his hands on them. There you go. He's in there. Just want to show you guys what it looks like up close and from all sides. And unfortunately, these Darth Vader figures do not film well because he's so dark. But there you can kind of get a look at him. It's a very good figure. All right, and then to reinsert the handle, you just got to make sure it's in a. There's a little notch in the hole, and there's a notch in the middle of the peg that goes in there. So you got to make sure it lines up right, and it just snaps in. And then you have the flight controls again, and it does actually turn all the way around if you want him to go upside down. Woo! So, and then to reinsert the window for the TIE fighter, it's very simple. It just slides right in. Snaps into position. And that's it. There you go. And there it is, everyone. There is your Gunner Station TIE fighter with Darth Vader from the Power of the Force collection. And thanks for watching, everyone.